Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Make the Leafs Comics to create comic strips. So let's go ahead and get started here. The great thing about it is that students do not need to create accounts in order to use the tool. Just click Enter here. And now we're ready to start creating our comic strip. Now we can scroll through and take a look at all these different characters down here. Let's pick one that we like. Let's pick this guy here. We'll put him in the frame and then just click and drag and move him around. If I wanted to make him bigger on the screen, I'll select scale to the left here. Select my object and then I can zoom to make the object smaller or larger. Let's add somebody else to the comic here. Great. Now let's try to add some speech bubbles to this comic. We can go here and select talk balloons or thought balloons. There's really not much difference except for the way that the balloon is displayed, they'll work the same way. Now we can enter the text that we want to put in the speech bubble or thought bubble here. And again, if we want to move that speech bubble, we can click and drag it. And if we need to make it smaller, We'll select scale, select the item, and drag it down. We can also delete any object in here by simply clicking on it once, then hitting the delete button. And if we want to start all over, we can hit the start over option here. So we can repeat that process all the way through. I'll just name my comic here and call it a sample comic. I'll put my name in. And now I'm ready to move on. If I want to go back and edit, I can go back and edit. And let's say I want to change my background color. There we go. I can change the background colors in this next frame. If I want to add some word art, I can do that. And over here, I can add a gallery of objects. Again, click and drag and move that around. If I need to add more panels, I can make it a four panel comic down here. I'm going to move on from this step and click Next. Now let's go ahead and we can either save it to our computer or we can print it, or if you want to email it to a friend, you can do that as well. I'll print it. I'm going to save this one as a PDF rather than actually printing it out. Now, Make Believes Comics has some other features that are useful for teachers and students. There's a selection of free ebooks that can all be edited, they're all editable PDFs. And I already have something to write about opened here. There are 21 prompts in here. And here's what it looks like. And I can put in my name. This belongs to Richard. And one of the neat things about it is that we have a number of writing prompts. And students can write their responses in here. And they can... You could have them work on this all at once or section by section. And again, when they're done, you can save it as a PDF or print it out. And you can see we have 72 pages and 21 prompts to work through just like that. So that's Make Beliefs Comics. It's a great tool for students to create comic strips without having to create an account on the website. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.